Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising Weekly Tarot reading for July 9th to July 15th 2018 <clears throat> So before we start I want to tell you guys that the uh, monthly Tarot readings are already out and if you like the way I read feel free to check your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign uh, at my channel for what is yet to come in July and as well if you want to know even more for one dollar you can obtain a, an in-depth in-depth monthly tarot reading at my website <clears throat> that covers up specifically the career and the relationship for this for the uh, for the star sign and in there are uh, there under the section of extended monthly tarot readings so that being said let's go to the uh, general weekly tarot reading for Scorpio and the first card that marks up the topic for you guys that will be the ace of swords the second card that shows up the core of the situation that is going to be the page of uh, the page of pentacles then uh, we do have uh, the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here that will be the um, Empress and the last card shows up the uh, the guidance that you should follow Scorpio that will be the six of wands so what we do have is a very serious conversations you're gonna have with somebody here that is displayed in these uh, two cards either with the kid of yours which is um, if you do have a children you know some of your kids or uh, maybe with um, with someone from your job or with your partner in relationship but there is some sort of a, a romantic or kind of like emotional connection in in those in those conversations so it's not purely about job all right it's it's definitely not because the page of pentacles has that tendency to also connect emotionally that being said if it is related with your career i think that the person who engage you in those conversations probably have a thing for you all right or maybe that could be a friend as well of your that will engage you with such serious conversations that will be uh, that will have a thing for you as well the bottom line here is that you need to be pretty straightforward with that person because they tend to um, they tend to be very uh, how can I place it uh, hooked up all right so in other words when they have a name or a goal it is very hard for them to detach from that so they get very attached not hooked but yeah attached to somebody and that somebody is going to be you Scorpio so simply if you like the guy or the girl just tell them that if you don't just tell them that whatever it is very important here to uh to put clearance upon the situation and as well if it is about your career uh and it is about a project then it is imperative it is paramount for you to actually place your points of view your expectations and in generally to serve the truth because this week is all about that to serve the truth now the challenges however are going to be marked with the Empress and in that particular sense you're gonna face immaturity from that particular person here alright so they could try to play a games with you also you will say you will face a indecisiveness in a sense of that they will try to uh, you know to hook you first uh, without admitting that they have been attached to as well but that card also points that because of their um, their how can I place it um, adaptable uh, standpoint or rather uh, adaptable behavior inconsistent behavior was the sentence I was searching for it will be very hard for you to plan what to do next all right and that's why uh, you will need to detach a little bit whenever you get over uh, overwhelmed from that situation Scorpio you will have to detach a little bit all right just so you can very carefully analyze and examine you know what has happened until now and what possible potential with that person you do have uh, in um, in the future and uh, at the end we do go to the six of wands which is a, um, a guidance card now when we talk about guidance with the six of wands in that particular uh, follow-up and that particular particular sense it does speaks that you need to aim to um, what was the English word here 
to excite the person all right so you should not overwhelm them with dramas or you should not overwhelm them with um with the problems you do have in an exterior you know for example if this is a romantic interest you shouldn't talk about the problems in your job this is what i'm trying to say oh if you want that person to remain attached to you and if you want that person to be a thing for you as well you know and to maintain the thing you, that you do have for them as well, uh, this particular um, connection and relationship in general moving on forward needs to be based on the common pleasant experience with the six um, with the six of wands. You need to put on the front row here your successes rather than your failures. You need to present your uh, you need to present your um, your achievements, okay, rather than your setbacks. And uh, in that particular sense, that card also advises you to be very confident because Six of Wands is also about confidence. And not to mention that that card is about reaping rewards. All right. So for what it seems, there will be a reward for you to reap and it is advisable to do them in that particular week. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading for July uh, 9 to July 15, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.